Hi, and welcome back to another episode of Backyard Bushcraft. On today's episode, we've got a bit of a challenge for Kyle and potentially something you guys could try at home. So Kyle, you're always talking about how much you love fire by friction and a good challenge of um, bow drill. So today, we're gonna challenge you with just household items. Um, so you've gotta take these and make a bow drill. Right, gonna be interesting. Let's get to it. done is I've gone and taken my two coat hangers and I've created my set. So I've got one being the bow, a little bit of paracord in between. I've got one being the hearth board. As you can see, I've burned in my hole there and I've cut my little notch. I've got the bit that used to be across the middle. I think it's like the trouser holder has now been turned into my spindle, a little bit shorter than I expected. And then I've got my bearing block, which like I said, is a, a little rock I found in the garden and I glued a coin into it. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take these pieces and I'm going to try to get this spindle to spin as fast as I can to build up enough dust to create an ember. And then over here, I've got a bunch of dry grass I've collected. And in the middle, I've got some western red cedar in a bark. What that does is it just makes a little ember really, really big. So I'm going to take it, I'm going to pop it in there and I'm going to see if I can get this to flames from two coat hangers. I've got my lucky ember pan. I'm then going to take, keep my tinder nice and dry up on this stump. I'm going to take my various pieces. I'm going to place the hearth board down, make sure it's nice and stable in the ground, find a good spot for it. And that little ember pan is resting just underneath and that's what's going to collect all my ember dust. I'm going to put my foot on nice and close. Then I'm going to take my bow and I'm going to place my spindle in and I'm going to put the side I want down up in between the string and the bow. I'm going to grab both ends and I'm going to twist it. I brace the bow against something like the ground or my leg in this case, and you want it under quite a bit of tension. Once it's in there, nice and tight, you can hold it with one hand, just like that. Then I'm going to take my bearing block, I'm going to use that to apply downward pressure, and I'm going to put my spindle in the little notch, get my finger covered in mud, rest those two on like that, and then I'm going to start my spinning action. What I'm going to do is I'm going to remember to try brace my wrist against my shin. That's key because it helps with the stability. And I'm going to try to keep my chest nice and high. It gives me a lot of breath because there's quite a lot of exercise involved. And I'm not very fit. And there you have it, fire by friction with the coat hangers. How do you like them apples? Yeah, it was very impressive, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't think you would manage it just quite as easy as that. Uh, if you guys tried this at home, let us know how you got on. If you could think of any other challenges we could give Kyle to do, also let us know. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Backyard Bushcraft. We'll see you next time.